my show to perfection with Jean. I'm Jean. And today we are on location at the Hornby Island Co-op. We are going to make pepper steak Jean. But between you and me, knowing the clientele who shop at the Hornby Island Co-op, you can't be too careful about germs. So before I go shopping, I always bring with me my gloves, of course, and my foot mitts. Now, yes, they are shower caps, but they fit perfectly. Like so. And then, of course, my sneeze guard. Now, knowing that germs are going to be just about everywhere and with everything we come in contact with, I always as well bring my disinfectant spray and my handy wipes for wiping down every surface in which I'm going to come in contact. <laughs> so here we go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear anybody. Happy birthday to you. And now the gloves. I wonder if there's a clerk. Clerk? Is there a clerk who could bring me a shopping basket somewhere? <laughs> Honestly, this store, it, it seems as if there's clerks everywhere until you need one. <laughs> Thank you very much. So, for my shopping basket, sorry, here, I want to use a truly abrasive spray. I get that out of my spray and cover the entire bottom of the basket with that and the sides. And then I'm going to take my paper towel, double with paper towel. Cut to exactly two and one half inches in length. Perfect. So with that, you see, we go through the slats, like so. <laughs> Did you know that a recent study of several supermarkets showed that two-thirds of shopping baskets were contaminated with fecal bacteria? <laughs> I mean, sanitized absorbent pad, and I want to put that on the bottom of my shopping basket, like so. Now, you don't want it to buckle. So, for that reason, just again, take your handy tape measure, and yeah, just as I thought, one quarter of an inch too long. <laughs> machines have approximately 25,127 germs per square inch. <laughs> now, for your sanitary grip, you can make your own sanitary shopping grip. So I find the best way to do that is to use duct tape. Simple duct tape. So you bring that along with you, just give it a quick cut and wrap it carefully around the edges. And no need to come into contact with any more germs than necessary. <laughs> now, before we go shopping and head into the produce department, you want to get out your handy thermometer because I always want to make sure the air temperature is exactly 41 degrees Fahrenheit in the produce department. Now, if you don't have your thermometer with you, just ask a clerk to take the temperature. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I can get it at the co-op? You can get everything you need at the co-op. <laughs> All right, so, oh, shopping list. First, how could I forget my shopping list? Totally essential. Now, my shopping list, if you'll notice, 
It is exactly <laughs> one and three quarters by four inches. Perfect. In length. That way, when I'm finished with it, I can put it neatly into my pocket and later use it for a bookmark. <laughs> One large green bell pepper. Here we go. Oh, well, you know, this doesn't look like a bell at all. <laughs> and this one, well, this one could be prone to wrinkles. I just have a feeling about it. <laughs> and this one, well, you know, I don't like the look of this one at all. I just don't like the look of it. <sighs> Let's get some help from a clerk. <laughs> Hello, could you help me? Excuse me, do you work here? Oh, thank you. I'm wondering if you could bring some more green peppers from the back. Is there something wrong with these ones? Well, no, there's nothing wrong with them. I just don't like the look of them because I am looking pepper steak jean. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> All right, and now our next ingredient. Three yellow onions, or red onions, three inches in diameter. <laughs> Got these. They look pretty good. Yeah, okay, good. Now, always use the bags provided for you at the co-op. Because, again, you not only don't want your food to come in contact with uh, each other, but you don't want to come in contact with your other food testing air samples in the supermarket and swabbed down conveyor belts found germs typically associated with open wounds. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I do notice that many of you have been admiring my tape measure cozy. <laughs> Recycled material, of course, sanitized, three times sterilized from the co-op, plus this trendy little piece of twine, so au courant. Now, isn't that a lot nicer than just looking at some ugly old tape measure? I think so. We may just have to take one of these green peppers. I think that this one might work. We'll just buff it up and give it a good polish to make it look pretty. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, I can see myself. Oh, that's just fine. Okay, here we go. In we go, double bag. See ya. Here we go. We're really getting there now. Now for our last ingredient. 527.5 grams of lean meat. Here we are. Excuse me. Could I get a clerk, please? Do you work here? Oh, yeah, thank you. Well, thank you. Cut that into 43 pieces, one half inch cubes. <laughs> For my pepper steak jeans. Oh, yes, yes. And double wrap stretch.
Gretchen Seal. I'll get right on that. <laughs> you know, people try to tell you that the secret to good pepper steak is in the seasoning, but we know better, don't we? It's having all the pieces exactly the same size. So that's to perfection with Jean. See you next time. Bye.